What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Here's the deal. We've got a lot of fun stuff going on today. This lens is a little dirty. I don't take care of my things. Listen, our very good friend Danny Rios, a lot of you guys know her as Little Mexico. She is a local beauty and lifestyle blogger. She is coming by today and we are going to answer all of the questions that you guys have been sending in all week while we stuff our face with local tacos from different local taco joints and we try and guess where they're from. I am not trying to throw any shade at all, but she did tell me not too long ago that she thinks she could out eat me, you guys, me. So, while that's not the main point of today's video, I did buy quite a bit of tacos and we might settle this once and for all. She's on her way, tacos are on their way, my coffee is ready, let's do this! Already? You literally posted a thing, was it yesterday, where it was like, you're like showing your abs all shredded and you're like, oh, I've been eating clean and I didn't drink alcohol. <laughs> no, and I'm I'll like, cleanse. this girl thinks she's gonna beat me in a taco. <laughs> okay, but you don't know me. You don't know my <laughs> life. I'm from the streets of Mexico. I think I literally weigh two times as much as you do. So I you saw weigh. that like real quick, look at How my stomach. How much do you weigh? All right guys, we're here with Danny Rios. You guys know her as Little Mexico. She thinks she can eat more tacos I don't think, me. I know. What okay. is even happening? I mean guys, I'm a food blogger. I eat out all the time. Guys, I'm a chubby Mexican. Like, <laughs> I'm Mexican. And you're <laughs> chubby, not even chubby. Though. Oh, oh my come God, on. stop. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we got these questions we're gonna be drawing out of there. We've also got tacos. We have five different tacos from five different taquerias, so we're gonna eat them each and try and guess where they're from while we answer your questions. On, I think okay, honestly, you could finish all of those. I think we could together. You really together, think so? I think we could that scares all, eat all the of these. life out of me. All right, so okay. let's do the first one. We'll take a bite. We'll guess, and then we'll take a question. One. Should we cheers our taco? Cheers. cheers. Here's to a big mistake. That's already so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dry. I'm gonna let you guess first, since I know. I'm gonna say this is from. La banqueta. This one's Fuel City. Oh, really? Yeah. I, that was my second choice. No, Fuel that. City's not even like real. What? It's Shots not. Shots fired over here. And Ooh. their corn literally sucks. Is oh, they're a lot that you don't like? No. Man, I'm gonna, we're gonna have like a savage stamp right here every time because I know this is gonna be this is gonna. This is gonna be the truth coming out from all the food <laughs> places I eat at. Let's pick a question. I'm gonna let you pick a question and we'll answer this one. Should I read it? If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Uh -huh. No, I've thought about this way too much. So I'm no, I've thought first. about it. I would want to be invisible. Get all so the I could like creep, <laughs> you know, on people without them knowing. Mm -hmm. You know, when I don't feel like just like getting ready, I could like go in my PJs to places and like, you know. But what's the point of going if people can't see like, you can't order anything, <laughs> you can't eat anything. You're just like watching oh, people have true. fun. I think I would do it for like creeping purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm having this second one. I think I already know where this one is. Is this one from El Cometaco? Wait, how do you know? I don't know. <laughs> like, like, I thought I was gonna be better at this. This one is La Banqueta. Okay, I just knew it was more authentic. Mm hmm. They are. I'm, uh, there's so no, many. You really places. think we can finish all of those? I mean, maybe. Um, the meat on this is really good. Oh, have you ever had tripe tacos? Do you want to tell them what like, tripe is? Mm, it's intestines. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't get over the thought that they just had to clean all the doo doo out of my meat before I ate it. Like, that's really. That is true. All right, I'm trying to keep up with all you. Right. You're like hammering. Next one. These. I know, you're going so slow. God, oh, my please. God. <gasps> Good flavor, too. I think I knew, but once I bit in, I knew. Is this twisted trumpo? No. Oh. <laughs> that's La Ventana. Oh, really? Because mm -hmm. their tortilla looks greasy. And at twisted trumpo, <laughs> every time I go, their tortillas are super greasy. I know what this one is because that's greasy. <laughs> I can't keep up with you guys. I'm impressed. All right. How do you keep consistent with your blog or vlog? I feel like people can share tips and tricks and be like, oh, you have to be passionate, you have to be motivated, all that stuff. No. That stuff is great. Passion, to be honest, like passion fades. Being consistent with like a blog or a vlog, you can't bank on always feeling a certain way or feeling inspired. You just have to go like, hey, I told myself uh, when I started this vlog, I wasn't gonna skip a week. And there've been weeks where I don't have any content. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. And I've literally just grabbed the camera and said, I'm gonna go up to the roof and I'm gonna walk back down. And when I'm done, I'll have a vlog. That it seems like bad advice, but you just do it. No, that's good because you're not always going to be motivated. I plan a lot, so I feel like that's how you stay consistent. But literally yesterday I was so tired, mm -hmm. but I still had 
to shoot. Because if you just stop and you're like, oh, I don't feel like shooting today, well, you're just not gonna have content the next week mm -hmm. and then you're not consistent, so. Yeah, no, I think, absolutely. Yeah. But I think it's also keeping in mind, I might post a video that gets 5,000 views. Mm -hmm. I posted videos some weeks that get like 40. Where are all the people who hit subscribe? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on with this? Making sure you're not doing it for other people. Like, if you just yeah. decide, hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm not doing this for the views, so if I'm only getting 40 this week, that yeah, doesn't yeah. mean that I'm gonna not put in the same effort and yeah. do it as well next week. Right. You know what I mean? All right, you've already moved on. You're halfway through the other taco. You haven't gotten any of the I tried. know, I suck. I'm gonna say, this is a come taco, this is twisted taco. Yeah. There you go. Two out of five. <laughs> So you don't do lime on the tacos either? Oh no, I hate lime on tacos. Oh my god, but I think it's because my mom, she loves lime. She'll put limes on everything. Like, because she's on a every real Mexican. No. Like, why can't you just enjoy it as is? Things that Danny doesn't like. <laughs> Fuel City, greasy tacos, <laughs> and lime. Now you're waging war on lime. lime. I put lime on pico de gallo. That's <laughs> part of the recipe. If you don't have lime on pico de gallo, you're just eating tomato and onion. <laughs> okay, last one from Twisted Trompo. This is my first time trying Can I tell trompo. my story? about the girl. You can do whatever you want. Dude. So, <laughs> I went to Twisted Trompo and I was like, can I have one tortilla? And the girl was giving me such attitude. She was so rude to me. She like yelled to the cooks in the back and she was like, she only wants one tortilla even though I told her the taco's gonna fall apart. And I was like, oh my God, how rude. But that's just one girl. Like some guy or girl, they were like, man, I've got this dream to have this taqueria. I'm gonna start in a gas station then I'm gonna, oh, now they've got a place like in the middle of downtown. Mm -hmm. They're coming, And now this guy's dream or or a girl's dream, I don't know. Yeah, you're like, I'm done because some girl. Okay, that is pretty weak. Okay, I'm gonna give him yeah, a second give another chance. Another shot. Last week in the last vlog, we talked about a different, um, about how one of the taquerias, all the artists that we interviewed, they always say this is their favorite. I said it in the vlog, and then I bleeped it out. Because I, I said, like, those are white people tacos. I'm surprised that everyone always likes them. Okay. But I bleeped it out because I just can't be savage like you. I can't just go, like, you know what? I don't know. So Mm-hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get these from La Ventana. Because La Ventana, even though she doesn't like your greasy tacos, I do. So who is your favorite local taco place? Uh, for sure, El Come Taco. And mm. only because mm. they're from Mexico City, so there's Mexico City style tacos, mm -hmm. like cebollitas with like salsa maggi, nopales on my tacos. Like that's super like Mexico City because they have like the best micheladas in the city too. Oh yeah, really? They're, they're no, because I don't like there. So on this side of the screen, we'll have all her dislikes, and on this side, we'll have one ding, <laughs> el come taco. Oh my god, so funny. What gets you out of bed in the morning? Alarm clock? I yeah, I mean, <laughs> usually I book workout classes in the morning. If I book it, I have to go, so that gets me up. I think this is the same answer as like what keeps you motivated with like vlog or vlog, like you just do it. When my alarm goes off at 5.30, like do you get out of bed or not? But for me, there's not like a big answer of like, oh, it's the dream of blah, like no, because like at 5.30, yeah. all the dreams are dead. <laughs> I have a friend that um, told me this trick. When she, the minute she wakes up, you have three seconds to get out of bed. And if you don't, you're just not going to. Like you're. Oh really? Sleep. Yeah. So she was like, I wake up as soon as the alarm goes off. I count down from three to one. I think maybe it was five. I do three. But so like that actually works yeah. for me now. So like I'll be sitting there and I'm like, oh, I don't really? want to. And I start counting yeah. down. I'm like, okay, I have to. And I've done it a couple mornings where I count down and I yeah. don't get up. Oh my god. And like I need legit. To stay. Yeah, it's not like I get up five minutes later. It's like, no, I wake up like an hour and a half later. Do you face any spiritual challenges as you carry this career? Specifically, like, these past few weeks. I haven't been really doing, like, my Bible studies like I should. I feel like when I don't spend time with God, I get super anxious about, like, nothing. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, I know I have nothing going on, but, like, my heart is just, like... Like, oh my God, yeah. I have like so much stuff to do. Being consistent on making time is kind of hard for me right now. I just, yeah. I have felt like a little bit unmotivated to like. <clears throat> In general with this type of stuff though, like vlogging, vlogging, yeah. like putting yourself out there so much, I think it's super important to think about like why you're doing it. Cause I mm -hmm. think the best of them are trying to like, they're producing content that changes culture. And when you're doing that, you kind of have this focus of like, here's why I'm doing this. Right. I think it's super easy, and I know that that probably overlaps with the whole spirituality of it to, to get into a mind space where you're like, yeah, it's just all about me, you know? I'm just gonna have another one just because I wanna beat. I'm still, so you're, that's nine, and this is eight for me. 
I no, feel like those games. <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> one thing that you love and one thing that you hate about Dallas. Okay, things that I love about Dallas is that it's a really big city and it has so, like you can do a lot of stuff, yeah. but it's also very chill at the same time. So it's like, yeah, you have, you know, the city, city life, but you can also go and like, be in a remote place, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and be okay. There's a lot of Mexican and Hispanic people mm -hmm. in Dallas that live in Dallas and it's great, but I think like, I don't feel the Latin culture as much mm -hmm. as if I go to like Miami where like everyone speaks Spanish, everyone's like not afraid to be like whatever they are. Something that I love about Dallas, I'm trying to think of how to say this, I think there are a few cities in the entire country that respond to and incubate um, real authentic experiences. East and West Coast, there's so much happening, it's so saturated, whether you're creating experiences or content or anything there's so much competition and then there are other cities where there's not the competition but there's also no interest and there's no scene there's no one to respond to the content or the experiences yeah, yeah. Dallas will respond to the content and to the experiences and like when we started this vlog I've had so many people reach out to me and just go like hey this is so good I like I want to do this too or I'm doing this too but I don't have any community and I'm going like what are you talking there are so many people in the city who are doing this talk to each other you know so I feel like Whoever can, which is part of what we're really working to do, can like unite that group. Um, like Dallas is gonna. Yeah, I will up. say Dallas is so good at that. Like I feel like everyone really loves to help each other. You can start from zero mm -hmm. and make it really quick. Hey guys, this is Adolfo. Adolfo is watching the camera because it overheats, Adolfo. and he's giving us things when we need things. Can we have more? Topos? He's telling me yeah. if I don't have cilantro in my. Is that? We're hammering these down. She's had nine. I've had eight. Fast. I just want to beat you. So if you don't eat anymore, I'll be done. This is why I thought like, oh, I'm gonna crush Danny. The first time that we went, we did like an interview with her a while back on the vlog, and I was like, hey, do you want some tacos? And she goes, oh, no thanks. I ate yesterday. <laughs> no. Wait, I do eat every day. I'll just put that out there. Because <laughs> people ask me, do you eat everything? I do. I eat everything. Like everything. Okay. Also, show us. Okay, but Look like, the one tortilla thing she's doing. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat on that plate. Too. No, okay, one piece. Okay. I'm not gonna touch that because I don't know what all was in your well, mouth I'll already. Eat it. <laughs> Here's the thing, I could do more. Like, I can keep going. It's I mean, so can I. You also reach a point in your life, like, Same. do I want to ruin the rest of my weekend <laughs> and gain five pounds just to I beat mean, her? I mean, you can just, like, go work out after this. Sad. <laughs> Throughout this vlog, we've heard a lot of the things Danny likes. Oh, sorry, we've heard a couple things Danny likes, and we've heard a lot of things Danny doesn't like. So, we're gonna do a new segment. We'll make this a recurring thing when we have you on, which is, yes. uh, does she like it? I'm just gonna do rapid I fire. Like it. Here are the things, and she will say just one answer, yes or, yes no. or no. No explanation. All right, just, just yes Do you or like no. it or not? Okay, okay. I'm gonna try and keep these related to Dallas, but they might not be. Uh, micheladas? No. Deep Ellen? Yes. A summer? Yes. Uptown? No. Winter? Yes. Lower Greenville? Yes. Mustard? No. Pork? No. You're, now you're saying yes and yes. <laughs> Tacos and tunes. Yes! yes! <laughs>